Gentlemen, I would recommend buckling up because I am fired up. And there I say giddy. Today, we're talking about the mother of all accessories. Glasses and sunglasses, AKA shades. Now, we have discussed how to choose the appropriate style for your face shape. That video will be listed and linked down in the description down below. But there's another aspect to selecting the best style for you that we really haven't talked about. And another monster consideration, which is your complexion. Skin color and hair color. These two characteristics are going to be something that you need to consider when selecting your next pair of frames or sunglasses. Before we get started, there are two things you need to know. Number one, that nothing I say is factual, all right? It's a recommendation. There are some times when you are going to do something that I say probably won't work that'll look amazing. Really, you ultimately need to be the judge. The second thing is that if you like any of the frames I show you in this video, they can all be found at the link down below this video that will take you to today's video sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. GlassesUSA is incredible. They are my absolute favorite place online to go for great frames and prescription shades. The deal is they have cut out the middleman. They're selling direct to the consumer, which means a better product at a better price. They've got over 2,500 different styles. They've got high-end designers. They've also got their house brand, which I absolutely love. And the glasses that I wear the most actually are a brand called Muse that they sell. The price, seriously, it starts at $48 for a complete set. Stylish frames, prescription lenses. They've got a 100% money back guarantee. They've got glasses along with prescription shades, right? These also came from GlassesUSA.com and are absolutely dynamite. Gentlemen, let's get started. First things first, we need to determine what your complexion or skin tone actually is. Are you a cool, spring, warm, summer, autumn? Throw all that shit out because it's crap. All we really need Need to figure out is your contrast. How much do you contrast in terms of your skin and hair from white? How far away from white are you? If you're a black dude or a brown dude, you're very far. So you've got a high contrast. If you're sort of olive skin like me, I would go medium. If you're pasty white, freckly, then you're probably low contrast. So your high contrast individuals are typically going to have dark colored hair and eyes. Medium contrast individuals are typically also going to have dark hair. You're going to have lighter skin, but dark hair. Your low contrast individuals are going to be the guys that have blonde, hair, red hair, light brown hair. If you're Asian, I'm pretty much going to call you medium contrast because typically you're going to have super dark hair. Your skin tone can vary depending on the region, but I'm going to say for this exercise, you're medium. All right, so everybody now knows what skin tone they are and what contrast level they fall into. Now let's pick some frames. Let's start with the easiest one, which is high contrast. Dark skin, dark hair. You're far away from white. You're dark. And so you can actually wear a little bit easier super dark or black frames because the frames don't wear your face. When you're dark, it softens it up a little bit. Uh, but you can also wear the lighter frames as well and look absolutely spectacular. You can even go with something like a nice gray. Um, sky's the limit, seriously. The darker your skin, brown guys, black guys, you can rock any damn thing you want. Now let's talk about medium contrast. Dudes with lighter or olive skin and dark hair, okay? If you go with a pair of super dark black frames, it, see what happens? All you see when you look at me are these frames, when all you need to do is soften it up a little bit. This tortoise I really like. It is a dark tortoise. And, and tortoise shell glasses, personally, I think look phenomenal on everybody, um, but they come in different varieties. This, see that? A little bit lighter spots as opposed to these. Um, but like I said, the medium complexion dudes, you can wear tortoise a lot better than black. You also, here is a tortoise and a gold tone. Check out the difference, right? Here Here's a pair of semi rimless and you see sort of that brow line, it's black. By simply changing it to a lighter, softer metal, it actually kind of goes away and sort of blends in with my face a little bit better. Um, and another option is something like this, right? A little bit heavier up top. This is actually a gray tortoise and lighter gun metal down below. And quite frankly, these are spectacular. Now let's talk about the low contrast. Dudes that have lighter skin, lighter hair, you definitely need to stay away um, as a general rule from black or the super dark tortoise. Instead, opt for something that's a little bit lighter. This is 
is a softer tortoise. The gold will look spectacular with your undertones. Light browns would also look great, um, as opposed to something so harsh like a black. What happens, if you've got light complexion, light hair, and you wear black, all you see are the frames. They wear you as opposed to you wearing them. Or even a lighter tortoise shell. I would say that the dark tortoise is probably going to be a little bit harsh, but really you've got to try. Um, one of the other beautiful things about GlassesUSA.com, and one of my favorite things, is actually trying on the different frames. They've got this thing where you upload a picture and you can try on every single pair of frames they have. So if you go on and you're looking, you're like, yo, I kind of dig those. All you got to do is upload a picture, try on the frames, and buy them. Um, seriously, it takes a lot of the guesswork and sort of the uncertainty of buying online out of the equation. And it is super fun. It's a, Even if you don't need glasses, it's a lot of fun to go and play around with because you literally will be surprised at what you think looks great. It's also a great way to take a screenshot, send it to friends, send it to your loved ones, boyfriends, girlfriends, let them give their feedback. Hey, what glasses do you like the best? And you never know until you try. Like, I never in a million years would have been like, oh yeah, the gold glasses? Yeah, give those to me. But when I got these, right? I absolutely loved them. And I started wearing them. I started getting compliments. And it was like, okay, game over. Once you get a compliment wearing a pair of great frames, it's like, forget about it. I dug the gold so much. Check it out. Gold, black, shiny, matte, gradient, how bad ass are these shades? Exactly. And they've even got my prescription in them. And the price, you are not going to believe it. Guys, there is a link down below to GlassesUSA.com. They're also going to give you a special deal so the prices get even more insane. Like I said, they also have designer frames. These are Ray-Bans, matte black, sexy, dynamite. Yes, they are. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> I love glasses. I personally think that they are the most incredible accessory. So many guys get all bummed out. They're like, oh, I need glasses. I'm going to get LASIK. I'm going to do this and that. Whatever. I'm like, bring it. When I found out I needed glasses, I was actually kind of excited. And now that you know how to select the appropriate color, glasses, frames, and sunglasses based on your unique complexion, hopefully you will be excited too.